Do you have a problem with the new control center on iOS 18 and you need to reset it? You came to the right place. We're going to show you what you need to do in order to reset your control center on iOS 18 to the default layout. And hopefully, by the end of this video, you're going to solve all of the problems you have. As you can see, this is how my control center looks like currently. I've customized it a little bit, and I've added and removed a bunch of controls. But some of the controls aren't working for me when I tap on them. In order to reset this, we'll exit the control center and then open the settings on our iPhone that's running iOS 18 and newer. The next thing that we will do is to select this general section right here. And when we open the general settings, we'll scroll all the way to the bottom of the page until you can see this option called Transfer or Reset iPhone. You want to click on that, then tap on this reset, and another little menu will appear over our screen where we will have a couple of different resetting options. As you can see, we don't have any option to reset the control center only, but instead of that, we will have to select this Reset All Settings. The Reset All Settings option on iPhone restores all settings to their factory defaults without deleting your data, such as apps, photos, or contacts. So this option won't delete any of your photos, videos, contacts, and other personal data or information, but it will only reset your settings to their defaults, and that will also reset your control center layout and options. So when you select the Reset All Settings option, the phone will prompt you to enter your iPhone passcode in order to confirm that it's you, and when you do enter your passcode, the phone will do a soft reset and you just want to wait a couple of seconds. The Apple logo will appear over your screen until the phone does the reset. And when all of that's finished and you unlock your phone to go over to your home screen, you can swipe from the top right corner of the screen and open your control center. As you can see, the controls are now reset to their original layout and you can now customize and edit your control center all over again. If you don't know how to customize your control center, I'll leave a video link in the description down below so you can check out the tutorial in order to learn how to get the most out of your control center on iOS 18. And if you need more similar iOS 18 tutorials like this one, you'll have the playlist link in the description as well, so you can check that out also. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.